Good morning to you. It's 6.50 a.m. here in Norway. I'm enjoying a good cup of coffee. <sighs> coffee from Guatemala. It's really good. I hope you are having a good day and I hope you're excited to watch this video because I'm excited to share some things with you guys. And that is how our feelings are just our feelings. They're not our dating coaches, they're not our experts in fitness, and they're certainly not our best friends. But they tell us a story, they tell us something about how we're doing, how we're feeling. If you have a goal in life to look a certain way, to have a certain physique, maybe you want to be jacked, or maybe you want to be relaxed in any situations, like a charisma and command kind of guy, you have to learn to differentiate between how your feelings are just your feelings from where your feelings are your roadmap to life from where your feelings are always giving you instructions and where you're always listening to whatever your feelings are saying back when i was a young lad i remember wanting to be like those really charismatic guys those that were confident in any situations they would also be bodybuilders. So I started, of course, working out in the gym. I started reading books on charisma, etc, etc. I'd say this went pretty well up until 2018 when I had my first experience with social anxiety. This is where my worldview got kind of shook because I wanted to be something over here that is a charismatic, relaxed, socially confident guy. But over here, my feelings would tell me that you're really nervous, you're really stressed, you can't keep eye contact with people and that would really clash. So in order to listen to my feelings, I would just avoid the situations where I could not meet the requirements of what I'd say was an ideal man. What then happened was that I would feel more comfortable in my room, so I would spend more time in my room playing games and watching Netflix, etc. What is the problem in this case? Well, the problem is that I would let my feelings control my life. What I wanted to be or to do would just get further and further away from me because I would always just take a step back and step back and step back to always chase that feeling of comfort. If you ever struggle with social anxiety, I'd say this is one of the first steps that you have to overcome. Is the fact that if you're feeling nervous walking outside or if you're feeling stressed in the bus, if you're having anxiety out in public, that is actually okay. It is fine to have some stress. It is fine to be afraid. And it is fine to not meet the requirement of what is an ideal man or an ideal human being. Because none of us are really an ideal human being. Most of us are just people trying to make it around and trying to make our days go by and enjoy our lives at the best of our abilities. When I learned this, I would be able to be more relaxed in social situations and I would be able to push myself just a little and little. Eventually, I would notice that it is actually okay. It's honestly, nothing bad happens when we're feeling stress outside or even if we're having a panic attack with a group of people. Well, it might be a little bit weird, it might feel a little bit weird, but the people that really care about us, the ones that are truly our friends, they don't care. They want to be there to support us. Anyways, this is what I wanted to share with you guys, how our feelings, they're not our friends, they're just our feelings. They're telling us something about how we're doing, etc. But I don't think we should always listen to our feelings, but we should make conscious choices of what we want to do. Anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope you take care. And if you found this video helpful, a like is greatly appreciated as it helps it reach more people. If you want to see more content like this, of course, feel free to join my channel by subscribing. I'm uploading regularly and I'm excited to share my content with you. So that's it for now. Take care. Have a good day.